Hey everybody, welcome back to my day two of my March garden tour. Um, yesterday I showed you guys my um, vegetable garden slash flower garden it's turning into. But um, today I'm just going to show hopefully a much faster video of my little native um, corner here. Um, like I said, I do have natives growing all around my property, but this corner of my yard is kind of where it all started and most of it, I would say 90% of it is native plants and I do very little to this area and it thrives every year and let me show you what's going on. So while I said it's all natives, I didn't show this yesterday, but this is kind of an extension off of my um, vegetable garden. I have my pineapples planted here hoping those will um, produce fruit this year. This one, no, that one over there produced last year and a couple of these are that old this year. So I'm hopeful. Um, I just have some onions in there. Um, but let's see, we'll start here. This is my elderberry shrub. It's not a full tree yet, but it's a nice looking shrub. I think I might prune it a little bit more because this is bothering me. But I pruned it and I got four more trees off of it this year um, that I planted elsewhere in my landscape. So I'm excited for the elderberries to produce because I will be making all sorts of elderberry treats to come. Um, so the ground plane in this area is still very empty. You can see this creeping sage um, is basically all over the ground in this area but it does die back in the cold but you see it has little seeds it spreads it spreads by it's a trailing thing you know and it spreads by seed really easily also um, but you can like pull it out of any areas you don't want it so while it's aggressive it's not easy or it's not hard to get rid of but pretty soon probably by next month especially after it starts raining um, heavily again this will all be nice green growth um, and it has those little purple flowers that the pollinators really like um, almost any sage um, any member of the sage family does really well here in florida um, this is not native but this is the only orchid that i can grow and it's been here for almost four years so i will leave it here because it was a gift um, I added a hammock this uh, last couple weeks, so that's fun. I've got some milkweed that overwintered. This is not the native milkweed. I planted this well before I really started my native plant journey, but I left it because it still keeps coming up. But I do pluck the blooms off of it because um, I don't want it to spread. I just want the... Um, this plant is fine to come up. I'm pretty certain it does not carry that uh, virus that uh, kills the monarch butterflies. Um, so over here, there's not much happening. A Christmas ornament? How in the world? Um, yeah, some more creeping sage along the edge. Um, there is one here. This is world milkweed. I have one tiny plant of world milkweed that comes back every year in this little section. I want to add more, but I don't find that I've ever had any caterpillars on it. So it's really, it's so small that I'd need a lot of it to really beef up this area. Um, this is a cutting of a plant that is not doing well in that area. I have a small beauty berry. My Simpson stopper here. Um, it's one of two in my yard. Um, it will, this one is the one that struggled in the beginning of its life, but it will be fine. It bounced back. Um, let's see. I had some, yeah, it's gone. I had some Penny Royal growing, but I don't see it anymore. Um, this is another beauty berry. Beauty berries are so common here. I'm not sure everybody knows what a beauty berry is. Uh, gets those purple berries on it. I actually use the leaves as uh, insect repellent and it does work. I've been out uh, hunting and used it um, and I do not get bit by mosquitoes when I use that. Um, I have 
my golden rod going to seed um, and then down here is a dotted horse mint this spreads really nicely throughout this space um, there's some more down here that spreads pretty easily um, let's see. and I have this is a piney wood drop seed grass I have an oak tree above, so everything is completely covered in oak tree leaves. But oh look, I have some um, corky, or not corky stem, some uh, may pop passion vine coming up. This grass is coming back. Two muley grasses here. This is my other coral honeysuckle in full bloom. Just about in full bloom, it's getting there. Um, right underneath it, I added this plant. It is a native columbine, and the, it's a wildflower, but those are the, the cute little um, flowers. I just thought it was so sp special. So added a new wildflower here. Some more goldenrod against the fence. Uh, this is Joe Pie Weed. And I doubt very seriously it will end up flowering. It doesn't ever flower in this area for some reason. But we are gonna leave it. Some more goldenrod pop poking up there. Some more dotted horse mint or bee balm. And then this is one of my favorite views in my garden. It's just so peaceful to me and natural with the two muley grass and the coral honeysuckle and the bright green of the, there's one right there, the um, beauty berry and the one in the corner. It's just really pretty to sit out here. Um, and then especially when all the, the sage is in, in nice and green, it's really pretty. So I'm looking forward to everything greening out. And then just a little bit further, this is my swamp pot with the native brown savory. It's another one of those plants that has the tiny, tiny flowers for the tiny, tiny pollinators. Um, and it does have some aquatic milkweed in here, which died back, but we will see if it comes back. I will be going milkweed shopping this year, again, like always. And then these stems here are from native milkweed there and there. The only few plants right here that are not native are um, those amaryllis, but like I said in another video, they were a gift from my dad and I'm going to keep growing them because some plants are just special like that. But yeah, so everything in this corner is all native plants and I do zero maintenance to this area minus pulling up little acorn or um, oak tree seedlings um, here and there because they fall out of the tree and I have to collect them or else I'll have a million oak trees growing and then here's my little my toad house see if there's any toads in it nope no toads not yet but anyways well I'm going to cut this video off short here kind of do a little um, series this week instead of everything at once. I have this big tent out. We had a party this weekend. So anyways, well, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to showing you the rest of my yard. There's been some pretty fun changes and everything's growing so nicely. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.